Hey guys, Mr. B here, bringing you another uh, lovely math video, of course. Uh, this one is part four from my solving linear equations videos. Uh, if you haven't seen the first three, you might want to go back and check them out, especially the third one now, because uh, they're, these are kind of related. Well, they're all kind of related, of course, but um, this is another one involving distribution. Again, just a little bit more complicated than the last. Um, so, again, if you're not familiar with what distribution is, Basically what it entails is if you have something like this, say 5 times 2x plus 1. So you have something like this. Uh, you have to distribute the 5 through the bracket. So it has to go to each one. That's all it means. So 5 times 2x, 5 times 1, and that's going to give you 10x plus 5. So uh, it's really pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. But sometimes you have to use it in uh, application sort of like this. So the reason why this is a little bit more complicated than the last is just because you have this plus 5 hanging out here. Um, so you, after you distribute, you have to simplify again on one side. So let's give it a shot. So we're going to go with 2 times 3x, 2 times 1. So that ends up becoming um, 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 5 is equal to 3x plus one. Sorry about that guys, uh, the missus cell phone went off, so you know how it is. Um, yeah, so I was in just in the middle of distributing, I did the first step here, 6x plus 2, and then I have this 5 hanging in here. So what I had to do is combine these two. So it's just, again, it's just an extra step in this thing. So uh, you want to really look for that. Some, some people might try to, you know, subtract 5 from both sides and subtract 2 or whatever. That just adds an extra step. So we want to Sort of simplify this down as much as possible before we start moving stuff around. So we have 6x plus 7 is equal to 3x plus 1. So that's 6x. Now we have a choice, variables or numbers first. I'm going to go numbers. Um, so plus 7, minus 7 is equal to 3x plus 1 minus 7, so both sides, we have to do it on both sides, cancel, cancel, 6x is equal to 3x minus 6, so now I'm going to get rid of the uh, 3x there, so it becomes 6x minus 3x is equal to 3x <clears throat> minus 3x minus 6, so cancel, cancel, so we got 3x is equal to negative 6, so again, I need to divide, I got time, 3 times x, so I'm going to undo that, I have to divide, so divide by 3, whoops, divide by 3, so then I'm left with, that cancels, x negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. So there you go. A slightly more complicated example of using having to use distribution. Um, again, these things build up, so you got to practice. Let's do another one. So again, this might be a good chance to pause and give it a shot yourself, and then see what you get, and then check my answer, of course. Um, all right. So um, again, this one's slightly different. This time we had distribution on both sides. So we have the first set of brackets here, and the second set. So I'm going to go through the first set. Then I'm going to go through the second set. So then I have 2, x, two times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 5 is 10. And plus 2. So this is my extra step here, that plus 2. Just makes it a pain in the butt, really all, all it does. And then two times, 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times 1 is 3. So then I have 2x, and then I'm going to add these two guys. Whoops. And that becomes plus 12 is equal to 6x plus 3. So then I'm back to variables on both sides, numbers on both sides, so uh, get rid of the number first, so let's see. 6x plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 6x plus 3 minus 12, so 12, minus 12 on both sides, so Gonzo on that side, 2x is equal to 6x, 3 minus 12 is negative 9, or subtract 9. So you got to remember your negatives, of course. But of course, if you have a calculator, don't be scared to use it. 
and then we have that 6x, we need to get it over, so I'm going to subtract 6x on both sides, so 2x minus 6x is equal to 6x minus 6x minus 9. Cancel here, negative 4x is equal to negative 9. We got negative 4 times x, got to get rid of it, got to divide. Negative 4, negative 4. So then I'm left with these cancel. I'm left with x is equal to, again, I don't have enough room. I'd continue down the page if I could. Negative 4 divided by negative 9, which is just the negatives will cancel. 9 over 4. So there it is, guys. Uh, hopefully this helps. Um, hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on YouTube, whatever you want. Um, or if you know me personally, you can talk to me personally. Um, all right, good luck. See you in class.